Hello everybody, this is Stephen from Rugged Routes back for another quick tutorial on the Lowrance HDS7. And today I want to show you how to trace where, you, where you've where you been. Uh, that way, if you're out playing in the desert or in the mountains or whatever, you have a uh, line on the screen that you've created along your route that you can follow to get back to camp. And it's actually pretty simple to do. And here I have an HDS7 set up in simulation mode. And uh, in this example, it's just going to show us going in a straight line, but uh, obviously it's going to, in real life, follow you regardless of which direction you turn or wherever you go. So uh, to get started, you're going to want to push the Pages button in the upper right-hand corner of the unit. And then on the left side, you'll see that there's a Trails option. So you'll go ahead and click on Trails. So in the Trails menu here, uh, I don't have anything in here currently, but you can uh, click on New, uh, that line that's right there in the center, and it'll bring you this new trail dialog box. And all of this is asking is for you to name it if you wish, or you can use the default as it shows Trail 001 here. And it's always a good idea to select a color. Here it's showing black on the left side. But if we touch on that, it gives us a drop down of a bunch of different colors. So in this case, we'll go ahead and uh, select like this pink one here just because it'll stand out pretty well. And as far as the name of the trail, how I was mentioning, it says Trail 001 currently. Uh, if you touch on that, it'll bring you a full keyboard where you can backspace out this name and uh, enter in your own name. So we'll just put Test Trail 1 in here for now and click enter and then it comes back as you can see our name has uh, has changed here and we can go ahead and click on save so you'll notice that the display and record switches for our test trail one are both in the on position this is what we want to both be able to view our trail as we're creating it and to actually record our trail. And we'll play with these in a minute to kind of show you the, the effects of each one of these independently. So uh, we're done with this screen here. We can click on the X in the upper right hand corner and it'll bring us back to our, uh, our navigation screen here. And as you can see in this simulation it's already tracing a pink line in there. And I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit. And again this is just a simulation so I really did not go trampling off through the forest here. Um, it's just going to show us in a straight line for this demo, so just keep that in mind. Uh, so our pink line is is clearly tracing, and uh, now that that's working, I'm going to go back and show you guys how to uh, you know stop tracing as well. And it's back in that same menu. So you'll push the Pages button in the upper right hand corner of the unit, and go back to Trails on the left side, and the Record switch that's switched to on. We'll go ahead and click on that to switch that to off. Now when we close this box using the X in the upper right hand corner, coming back to our navigation screen, you can see that our pink line it, that we had traced is still there, but it has stopped tracing. So that is because we turned off the record feature. Now if we go back into that, that screen again to edit our trail using the Pages button once again, and back into trails, we can also hide that trail by turning off the display switch. So with that turned off, we can go back once again, and you can see our trail has disappeared, but it hasn't been actually deleted. It's just temporarily hidden. So this is good if you have a whole bunch of trails, maybe a couple different days of riding. You want to collect all of that data, uh, maybe you know bring it back home and load it up in the computer or something later on. Um, or, you know, for whatever reason, but maybe they're overlaying each other and it's getting confusing to read. Well, you can turn them on and off depending on what you want to view at the time. So just to show you once again that it's not deleted, uh, we can go back into that same menu, pushing the Pages button in the upper right-hand corner, and then going to Trails on the left side again, and we can turn Display back on. Close this box out, and you'll see on the right side, it's starting to get near uh, being off the screen, but our pink line has reappeared. Now, 
again, we can even go back and add to this trail, um, even though it's, you know, it, for it to be essentially showing in two different segments. I'll zoom out a little bit here just so we can kind of keep this on the screen. So if we come back into the Trails menu once again, turn Record back on, you'll notice that it will start recording again. We'll zoom in. And now we just have a gap in our line, but maybe that's what you want for whatever you're doing. So it's pretty simple. And, uh, you know, once you've reached a destination and you want to follow a line back, you can just turn off record and leave that trail viewed on your screen and just follow that thing right back to camp. So I hope you guys find this helpful, and we'll catch you on the next one.